Hey everyone, it's Mr. Bureau here, and I'm going to be explaining the first project, which is called the Coordinates Trio Project. Inside this project, you're going to be doing uh, four separate things. Three of them are paper-based, in which you will be filling out three forms that each have to do with one of the coordinate systems, and then you will be uh, typing your data into those forms, saving them, and they'll be part of your upload, as well as typing the information into three Google Forms that I have set up to grade your particular parts of those projects. Those will be created when the project is rolled out. This page that you're looking at right now is the AutoCAD page that is the fourth part of the project. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here on this screen, you're gonna see kind of what it's gonna look like on Google Classroom. This is the page that I'm gonna be using to make it on Google Classroom. Again, it's called the Coordinates Trio Project, and it's gonna come with these four files, three PDFs and one CAD BWG file. You're gonna save all four of those files into your system or your flash drive, and use these naming conventions, please. Project one, coordinates, rectangle, with your last name, first initial, and then your seat number. For now, each, each one of you doesn't have a seat number, but you will have one fairly soon. Okay, so let me just show you what the PDF looks like now. Here's the rectangular coordinate PDF. You'll see a monkey face here drawn in four loops. And like the first loop is the starts with a one and it goes all the way around the head and ends at 14, which is over here. The next one is uh, the letters A through J, which start here and then go around the ears, over the mouth and around the ear again. And then the other two of the eyes. So one, two, three for the left eye and ABC for the right. You're just really typing in all the coordinates that you're going to be using here. And again, this is rectangular coordinates or absolute coordinates, which are the actual coordinates that you would use in math class according to this grid. The next one is the relative coordinate method. And you would indicate your starting point being right here at, as, at 11 comma zero. And then you wouldn't be saying 11 comma seven for your next point, but instead you would be using uh, zero comma seven to indicate that you want to go seven units up and zero units left and right. And then the next one would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'd be eight units right and no units up and down. So that would be eight comma zero. And then you'd indicate that all the way through. And then your 16th uh, instruction would leave you right here at the end point. I recommend printing these out and filling them out by hand before you end up typing them. When you're done typing them, it's very easy to, to save the data here. So after you have all of these numbers filled out, you just have to click to print it and then you're going to save it as a PDF. So by doing that, you'll have a printout with these indicators here. And I believe if you set it to legal size, then it fills out the paper the proper way. If you have legal paper, if you don't have legal paper, leave it on the other side, that's okay. So you're gonna do that for your relative coordinates. We're not using the grid, grid coordinates here. It have to be done in relative coordinates in order for you to get some credit for it. And then lastly, it's this spaceship. This is an incredibly difficult project where you have to basically walk around the entire spaceship in one shot using polar coordinates. So polar coordinates, you're gonna need your starting point, which you can just type in 0, 0, 4. And then your first one is gonna be this line over here. I'm sorry, this line over here, where it's a start. So that's gonna go right a total of one inch at zero degrees. So you do at one angle zero. The next one is 1.5 inches going upward. So 1.5 at an angle of 90 degrees. The next one, it says, it says 80 in between here, but that really means going straight, it's down 10 degrees. So that would be a distance of two indicated by this number and at a negative 10 degrees or positive 350 degrees, depending on what you, what you prefer as your method. And that will get you all the way around to this end point last. So you'll type those in and print it again as a PDF to submit. And then again, when you're done with all three PDF forms, you'll be typing your answers into the Google Forms that I have set up ahead of time. So that's it for the PDF files. Now we'll go to the DWG file, which is what I had open in the first place. 
here you're actually going to implement the numbers that you have on the PDF. So it's kind of like you have to do this as part of the project, but really you get to use this particular page to check to see if you did it right. So you're going to be using those three sets of coordinates and drawing on these three areas. The first one, this is for the monkey head. It says use the grid above for the rectangular coordinates. Then this one is for the maze. Of course, it's for the relative coordinates. And you're going to start at 54 comma zero, which it actually tells you right here. So it looks like 11 zero on the grid, but because it's next to this particular piece, it's actually 54 comma zero. And for this one, this particular area, you're going to draw the spaceship starting at the coordinate 87 comma 20 and then following your particular path and everything will squeeze into this area very very nicely and then if you click on the layout view on the bottom left to finish it off you'll have this this is a preset layout which will show your three answers conveniently on one piece of paper in autocad and the last step is just to double click this type in your name so and then over here, you would type your seat number and the date. And again, you really don't have a seat number yet. If you were in period one, seat 20, it would be something like P1, C20. And then of course the date, you could put like September, uh, today is the 21st, so 21st, 2020. Okay, and then you click away from it and you would then save this DWG file and send it to me. Um, and that's it. So again, you're going to be looking at the Google Classroom thing, download all four files, fill these out, save them as PDFs. You're going to be attaching the PDFs and the DWG file when you submit the project, as well as answering these things onto Google Forms so it can automatically grade you. And that's it. That's the Coordinate Trio project. Of course, I'll be available during class to help you figure out a few things.